Hey socials. <laughs> Shamanic wealth creation. So today, <laughs> should have done this before I got on. Today, shamanic wealth creation and the difference between knowing and wisdom. So I just wanted to really, what I keep feeling in my, hi lovely, how are you? Um, what I really keep getting in my morning, um, in my morning practice is how, I'm, I mean, I've kind of seen this for a really long time, is how important it is for, there are many people who are here on the planet right now, and we all have different roles and different roles to play in the awakening of human consciousness and the awakening of our own consciousness. And there's a journey in that for every single person um, that is, individual but it also comes together to weave a collective a collective vision and i feel like we're kind of at this point we're at this really critical sort of crunch point where people who are here just because you're here to make a difference and make an impact and you're really driven by that and your heart is calling you into that and your soul is calling you into that. I don't think that makes it a given that that is going to happen for you. Um, and even though on one level it is, I think on another level there's kind of like this sort of level of complacency and there's a whole spectrum of not listening in the field. And I know this because I've experienced it and it comes from disembodied knowledge and dis yeah, disembodied knowledge and, and not wisdom and disembodied, no disembodied knowledge can be the same as wisdom like it can be the words and the sentences can sound exactly the same but they're received differently and the frequency of them are different and the way that that a person acts um, that carries both this disembodied wisdom this disembodied knowledge and wisdom is very very different um, and the difference like the one significant difference between this this these two that's like these two streams of consciousness is that on the on the one hand the disembodied knowledge is like this person can talk to you very passionately and very vehemently and they can seem like they're saying all the right things but you look at their life and you look at what they're creating and there's chaos there's oh I, i'm thinking of a of someone i know a dear friend and she's gorgeous and she has like you know advice for everyone in her life and she speaks about it as if like you know like super duper uber uber passionately but she doesn't carry it out and i want you to watch your energy when 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 there's information being shared between people because if you're listening to disembodied knowledge, the energy in your body will drop. Like it will actually, it will actually leave you. Um, and the conversation, even though it's a topic that you loved, will feel like, woof, you know, like the energy's really gone. And that's that's knowledge. That I mean, what was said was true, but it wasn't. It wasn't acted in a way that's embodied. Because when wisdom is embodied, it has a transmission. It has an essence, like between the words, between the spaces, in the breath. There is a realness. There's a there is a texture. There's a there's an energy to someone who's really living it. Someone who's like who's like living the steps. Who's feeling it. Who's 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 really really at the edge and doing the work. And. Um, you can really, I, I just wanted to bring your attention and your focus to this, to really, to really recognizing the difference between what is this disembodied knowledge and where are you doing that? Like, where are you, huh, um, my, my postman, um, where are you sharing disembodied knowledge and how can you make it more embodied? 
this is what is being called out of us right now is like really stepping into that knowing really stepping into that purpose if you are one of these people who are who are really here you you know and you feel it in your heart and in your being that you're here to make a difference to make an impact where are you in disembodied knowledge and how can you turn that into wisdom and the simple answer is it, it's very it's 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 really simple it's like start actually doing it start trusting start taking the steps start living by those words that you speak and that's what's going to make an impact and that's the difference between people that will change the world and people that will literally die hello darling Taryn um, and that's the difference between people who will who will make a massive impact in the world and the people who I'm sorry but the people that will die and never fully express what they came here to express and go through another cycle and go through all the lessons again don't be one of those people like it's just it's so so important now to to there's no getting ready to be ready anymore there's no there's no <laughs> I'm gonna do it soon after I've learnt this thing and that thing. It's like your genius, what you're here for. It's I, I get it that we're in a world where we're not. It's not a. It's not a lesson. It's not a school. It's not an education to have your genius as like the guiding sovereign principle in your life. But if it's not, if it's not there's no way through like the next you know it's for us to hold the line in 2020 and it's not even about holding the line anymore like when I see there's not about holding the energy line it's crossing the line how do you cross the line how do you how do you become the event horizon how do you how do you um, live a life of genius how do you rise above the maze and and fuck the maze just like climb over the walls how do you be that person and it's a real embodiment of everything that you've learned. It's not just learning it anymore. It's like living it, living it, breathing it, sharing it, doing it in every, like how can you breathe it and bring it more into your life? And uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, yeah, so if you look at someone who's doing this in their life, it's just their life is different. Like they have a different energy, like things just work out better for that person. Um, and it's not because they don't have challenges, it's because they are, they, they're dialed into something bigger. And it's not, you know, like you're not the person who can make your purpose come true. Like your purpose just is. There's a real like balance of um, serving your purpose and listening to your purpose and living in the world. Like it's this real sort of like tiptoey, um, tiptoey equilibrium where you can like very easily move to one side so on the daily we need practices and this is why the practices this is why and I think just practices can get so rigid it's not it's not about rigidly practicing it's about like legitimately tapping into that part of yourself and you know when you're in it there's a resonance there's a truth it's like it just is um, so yeah tapping into that as much as you can is definitely like the highest priority and really holding that in the field until the end of the year like I feel there's a lot of um, there's a significant amount of energy in the field that is creating um, turbulence and yeah like it's our job it, it is literally our job um, if we're here to create something new to really step into purpose and to stop fucking talking about it and actually do it like when you get something follow through don't wait like the energy's there now inspiration's a wave intuition's a wave like you're on it or you're not on it um so yeah that's what i wanted to share about that um and obviously the hits of inspiration and the hits of genius they're always going to be um, aligned with your purpose and your highest purpose whether they make sense whether they don't make sense um and yeah i just want to encourage you to carry the torch into um carry the torch into 2021 um with real purpose and real power and and yeah just take as much time as you can to stop to be in nature like it's so simple you know like go outside get some sun on your skin like 
soak up some green, drink really good water, do the things that you know are really going to nurture yourself um, to to stay in the simplicity of what it means to really have your genius come to life and um, set the intention. Intention is powerful. Um, sometimes, well, most of the time, we feel like we don't know how to actually access that genius and intention isn't enough by itself. I mean, there has to be volition with the intention and, you know, like aligned action with the intention, but intention is significant in being able to access that part of yourself and really bring to life um, your your purpose and your genius be open to unexpected ways um, of how life is going to bring you what you're wanting um, yeah really be open really really stay open that's one thing that I've noticed with a lot of the a lot of my clients and a lot of people that I'm talking to is just open like that unexpectedness comes comes in the sweetest moments so uh, what else what else that's my main message is also that um, the field the collective field is tired like it's been a big 2020 um, there's been turbulence with the Schumann resonance there's been like political stuff there's been the pandemic there's been Oh, like just there's been so much like spiritual warfare happening and it's not over and it's the end of the year and you probably want to rest so take the time to rest every day but also really stay on that line stay on your edge really hold really really hold um, your purpose your heart your mission um, the field needs you and your genius to really step up into leadership and really get intentional and really start living from that place of wisdom and really start living from that place of like the most powerful example we can be is just be it just be it just live it that is so much more impactful that's like a million times more impactful than speaking it because the resonance of an action, the energy of an action, the power of an action, the power of a person in action, in alignment with their genius, it's just, it's not even a scratch on words on a paper or a post or, or um, even though those things can be amazing, right now is a time for action. That's all. That's all I got. Um, thanks for tuning in and um, have a beautiful day. Look after yourself and I shall see you next time.